Tornado in Wales in... <laughs> That's so cool! A proper twister! That is so cool! You can see it going up, look! Yeah, it's starting to fade now. Yeah, it's starting to disappear. Isn't it? That was a good spot, that was <laughs> weird. See, I like tornado spotting. I don't have see to the go rain to... over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rain, rain. Look at that! I spotted a tornado. How cool! <laughs> Weird. Well done. Yeah, yeah, I can see it there. Well yeah. done. It come at, come at us, and then it's going left now. Still moving its way and twisting down. Growing low. Still going. So we've come to Pembrey today for a completely other purpose. But Kim's ended up doing some tornado watching. Yeah. Third one now which I've is, seen today. Never seen one before. I absolutely love them. We don't oh. get tornadoes in Wales. That's what the guy just said. He said, you're watching another tornado. I said, yeah, it's the third you. one in about five minutes. He said, I've lived here all my life and I've never seen one. We don't get tornadoes in oh. Wales. They're only little ditty ones. Yeah. But they're amazing. So we've got, there's a storm over there. I say storm, heavy rain moving across. Over the, over the estuary. Over the estuary, yeah. And, um... Keep seeing funnels dropping down to the yeah, ground. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really st it's still spiraling. Hey, so those are vortices forming, a vortex. Do they get called tornadoes when they touch the ground, or do they get called tornadoes at that point? Don't know. Not sure. You're the one who watched all the storm chasing TV programs. I've watched them for ages, Andrew. So we're here for some geocaching. Let's start walking towards the nearest location and available. Well done, fun. Let's start walking towards the nearest geocache. There's a bunch of four over there. So what we're doing today is there's a there's a geocaching thing going on. Um, what's it called, Captain Mary Hyde? Yeah. Anybody else been paying attention? Captain Ooh, Mary Hyde. Wait. So geocaching are organising this thing, and I guess it's to, you know, it's an event to get people out geocaching in the summer. When it started, the first thing you had to do was um, join with some friends and create a friends list or something, or go to a meeting. And I thought, oh, I'm not interested in that. Because we don't geocache with friends as such, we geocache as a family. It's hard enough organising this lot, let alone this lot and another group of people. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't really pay much attention to it. But that was the first thing last week. But then you can do it solo, as it were, as well. And... Yeah, left a bit, shall we? So the next thing for the Captain Mary Hyde thing... I'm not entirely sure where this is going to end, but it talks about maps and treasures and gold coins and that sort of thing. Is that we're in the first week. Today is the last day of the first week. And you need to get, if you get, what was it? So you've got to get 30 gold coins. And then if you get 30 gold coins by the end of this week, as in today is our last day, then you get the first piece of the map. And there are four pieces of the maps, four pieces of the map. Yeah, one piece each week. The rules change each week. And then I don't know what you do with the map. But anyway, you also get a little, you know, a souvenir, a digital souvenir. So you get five gold coins per geocache that you find and log this week, i.e. today. Unless it's a... Unless it has ten favourite points or more, in which case you get ten gold coins. Right. So if we've got to get 30 gold coins, Annabelle did the maths. See, she says we've got to find six geocaches. So we've got to find six geocaches today. We were looking around the garage, oh, we've found all these, found. we've come to Pembrey because there are a dozen or more geocaches here, so it gives us a we bit of leeway. We haven't done them before, and it gives us plenty of, if we can't find any, it gives us plenty more to go hunting for. And there's one here, which has got 80 or 90 favourite points. However, the terrain rating is 4 out of 5, which makes it the hardest one we will Although ever people that have done it before to. said it should be 5 out of 5. Yeah. <laughs> so difficulty is 2, so difficulty in finding how well is it hidden, that sort of thing. Terrain is, you know, if it's 5, you're usually climbing a tree or abseiling off a cliff or, you know, something like that. So it's 4 out of 5 and it's called Bunkered. And Pembrey used to be a munitions centre, a cool. munitions factory, and it got really, really big in the um, Second World War and the First World War and since then it's gone and it's been replaced by a country park and woods and stuff, right? But that means there are lots of leftover bits of munitions factories. There's lots of, I guess, bunkers. 
and I'm going to try not to do it. The cash owner says, you know, don't do any spoilers or anything. So I'm going to try not to Spoiler. to do any spoilers. But we'll go and I don't. And we've looked at the logs that other people have left, and a lot of them say I ain't going in there, <laughs> or I'm not. I don't Equipped. have the agility, or they don't have... It says take a torch, you know, and mucky, clothes to get mucky in. I brought my head torch. So a lot of people, it's not that they haven't found it, it's that they haven't attempted it when they've looked at it. They've not been well equipped, some of them say. So um, we've got torches, got old clothing. And someone said they came face to face with a giant spider web. Yeah, yeah. that too. So Daddy can go first. Oh. So we don't exactly know what this is going to be, but we'll, we'll, we'll find a couple of the other caches nearby, and then we'll go to this one. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what we find and see where we go from there. But it it's been might be an it interesting down with rain one. as well, horrendously for the last few days. So it might be a bit muddy as well. Yeah, that's all right. I've got a lot of waterproof clothing and stuff. So we've got to find six caches, got to log six caches, and hopefully find this really tricky one. All right. What do you think the odds are of me finding some more like leftover World War II bullets? Because I bet Leon would have to see that. Hopefully, hopefully you won't find any leftover ordnance. That would be cool though. <laughs> They also do um, mountain bike races in here, yeah. um, and they do a tide to tide race, and they do a battle on the beach race. That beach there, Kef and Sidan Beach, is eight miles long, and has soft sand and hard sand. So they do lots of uh, there's some mountain biking and cross country races, and you've got to pick the right bike. Is it a, is it a cross country bike for trails like this? Is it a tire, a, a fat tired mountain bike for the soft sand or what? It's interesting. Yes. What is the beach battle thing? It's uh, you all race on your bikes around a course. Cool. Like a big cyclocross race. Kim and I entered the Tide to Tide. Tide. It was the first mountain bike race that Kim had done. First race, actually. And it was a pair. We entered as a pair, a mixed pair. And on mountain bikes, we were then bobbing around in this park. And it's tide, called Tide to Tide because you start when the tide is in and you finish when the tide is out. So it lasts about six hours. That was oh, that was tough. Night. Yeah, into the night. So you finish with torches on stuff. And there was a huge stuff. deck chair, and I made a friend, and we and me and her could fit on it with like four other people. Yeah. It was huge. It was great fun. Oh yeah. And we had like those really fat glow sticks. Yeah. What well, they found? Yeah. I thought that was going to be an opening. Same bit. It's not. All right, 46 meters. I think we need to go to the other side of this. Yeah. It's a bit cross country. This one. Oh, is it on top of the bunker there? It's a bit wet up here. Yeah, 10 metres tree, 9 metres. Is it beneath our feet? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is where you put it. Is that always open air? Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Echo. Echo. Yeah. It's <laughs> there are a lot of tunnels in here. This is cool. This is really cool. Oh, Dad, I think this is um, giving us an idea of what the geocaching is going to be like today. That's the first one found. <laughs> right. That's that's five gold coins found. If you go down there, there's a tunnel and like keep keeps going mm -hmm. and it takes a right, there's really big moths so on. So that's a pretty spooky start. That is super cool. Apparently most haunted have been here looking for ghosts. Really? No doubt, they probably did find something that wasn't actually here, but you know. Wait, <laughs> so what? nice and spooky. When you look for ghosts long enough, your brain like makes you want you want to see a ghost so much your brain thinks you see a ghost. Let's have a look. Um, guys, oh, the arrow's pointing that way. 40, 30 metres this way, and there's another tunnel. Find it. Yeah, bit. Jack's looking for ghosts. Right, that's two found. How many, how many gold coins is that? Ten. Ten gold coins. Hey, we're flying along. How many more do we need? Four. Four caches. Four caches. Okay. 
There are ghostly cans rolling around oh, in yeah. the dark now. That's cool. The next cache is the difficult one, which has a whole bunch of DNFs because people were just too freaked out to go in there oh, or too oh, freaked yeah. out to spend much time in there. Oh, ghostly cans are not helping right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. I should be able to height. Right, let's go. 140 Wait, metres that way. I a, uh, <laughs> so it's pointing at that, one. At that hill. Yeah. Oh. Right, well this, okay. this is one of those nasty little holes underneath. Getting close. This is the same birds flying out with This is the same as all the others. But it was one of those nasty holes underneath it, this. That I didn't want to climb in because it's about the size of me. Oh, but it's in there. Oh, uh, why? Why do you think it's in there? Oh, I want to go in there. Wait, it is. Is that salty? That's where I put it. This is a hole which goes into the middle of nowhere. Is it? Probably a loose bag. <laughs> This is graded four. Kim is way more into caving than I am. Oh, there's air vents, look. Come round to here. Yeah. So, um, Kim has decided to go down there. My bed might not be able to... Well, that was seriously nervy and impressive. <laughs> Is that the toughest cache we've ever found? Yeah, and yeah. the dirtiest. Toughest cache we've ever found. And the tightest, squeeziest space. Well, I didn't even get to find them. I'm calling them the tunnels. I think you could go down there. Yeah. yeah, you know, I totally would have done, fine. but I I'll just do fine, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's go get that. That is a seriously nervy cache and a really good one. 
and you think, oh, it'll just be here. Oh, they wouldn't put it in. Oh, they wouldn't put it in there. So, you know, I, I keep complaining that these days I, I don't get scared by much. That was, that was uh, not scary. I would have gone in and got it. I would, honest. <laughs> but that was properly nervy, which is a good feeling. I like that feeling. <laughs> um, the cash owner in the cash notes is, is very clear that he doesn't want people to give away where the cash is because that would definitely diminish what we would, if we'd known where it was, it wouldn't have been as scary because we didn't know where it was and how far we had to go. That's what made it really nervy. So there's gonna be two edits of this video. There will be one personal edit with all the, the caving footage in there. And there will be the edit for YouTube that you guys are watching, uh, which is the, um, the highlights without giving anything away, but hopefully getting across how Scary that was. Top cash, thank you. Brilliant. Right, log that one. Jack found it. Is he? Go Good. Jack's just gone in and got it as well. <coughs> nice one. That was awesome. Yeah. That's a proper like yeah. <laughs> in the Anna Jonesy kind of stuff. <laughs> that was really cool, that's fun. Like I, I crawling through it it feels like yeah. That was a lot of nerve to go in there. No it wasn't. Oh, you found I that easy. Know second thoughts. It's just, it's Mummy went in first. Oh, okay. I'm trying to say, well done. Yeah, I'm well done. That was very good. Thank you. A lot of and people don't go in there. We should have sent Annabelle in because she's the smallest. She'd have found it really easy. She'd have sent you in on your own with a bit of string around your foot. <laughs> Warning, low flying discs. Aliens. All right. Um, so that's theoretically 30 gold coins. No, sorry. That's theoretically 20 gold coins, we need 30. How many per cash? Five. But that one, but that one was a bonus one because it had so many favourite points. So really I'll add a favourite point when we get home. Wait. So we need just two more, but I think we'll find more than two, hopefully. Oh, how many have we got? Oh, three. Three, yeah. We need three more. That one's worth like a thousand though. <laughs> Found it. That's nice. No little one. It wasn't as obvious as I thought. Oh, did you leave the pen back in the no, thing? No, it's my pocket. We gotta, we gotta climb back in there and get the pen. I'll do it. <laughs> Papa Lazaru. Lazaru. Papa Lazaru's yeah, geocaching. Terrifying. Oh, there's no more <coughs> room in the inn. All right, dodging frisbees now. That's um, four caches. Theoretically, 25 gold coins. So we're almost there. Yeah. This was a good, good choice, wasn't it? Yeah, good really decision. Good. <laughs> right, next one's up here. I'm trying to work out how to get around the the skiing centre because the cache is on the other side of it. Right, 90 metres up that hill to the next cache, so I think it's where that bench is, well, in that area. Yeah, no, it was yesterday. Fifth cache, 25 points plus the five. Well, 25 gold coins plus that the bonus five gold coins so that should be our 30. Nice. i think we'll go and find a few more just to yeah yeah because it's just fun just to make sure right one golf balls for that yeah ping pong balls and they fall all these like that 50 meters Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's up here somewhere. It might be just on the other side of this lump, or there might be a big path up here. I don't know. Taking the direct route. Still says 10 meters, but I'm. Um, you know, we're in the trees here. Yeah, yeah. So, Keep yeah, going. maybe that tree ahead. This is just a geocaching trail, I think. So we got a lot of ferns and a few trees and a lot of ferns. Oh yeah, that looks like a path there, doesn't it? Path is a generous term. Oh no! Wait. Oh, you're kidding. No. Oh, that's a cool tunnel. More tunnels, look. 
More tunnels there, Jack. Yeah. Do you want to do the top Never tunnel. I can't believe. These are cool, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All that. Okay, that should be more than enough gold coins for the treasure hunt pirate Mary Hyde thingy, right? There are plenty more in Pembury Park, but we're going to go back towards the van now and I think pick one up on the way back. It's becoming a lovely evening. So next week the rules change, so the way in which you get how many gold coins you've got to get and the way in which you get those gold coins will be different and probably how many gold coins you've got to get as well. So I think the rules have been published, I just don't remember what they are. So we'll do this again next week and we'll see what we've got to do. And I guess we'll also get, we'll get this, the Mary Hyde, the pirate Mary Hyde souvenir, but we're also going to get a quarter of the map, so I, expect, I suppose if we get a quarter of the map Maybe we'll have a better understanding of what it is the map's going to do for us, because I've no idea. There we go, last cast of the day. How many is that? Uh, oh, somebody else has found these Seven, beans. eight. Eight very interesting and thoroughly enjoyable smiley yeah, caches yeah, added to the geocaching map. Yeah, you yeah. do need a bit of a sense of adventure here. Well, um, at least some bramble whacking and uh, fern yeah. brushing and don't to get your, to them. Don't bring your best walking clothes because you'll <laughs> probably wreck them. Well, it depends how adventurous you are. Long trousers really. and walking boots, really. Exactly. <coughs> that was awesome. <laughs> No, no, there's so much dust in here as well. Do you think it's safe to breathe through your mouth? Yeah, just keep going, go on. Dead bug. Ooh.